I'm Steve Tarano. Welcome to this episode of Ask a Real Expert. This message is going out to Brock. He mentions that he's 20 years old, he's playing baseball, but his knees are killing him. He's taking a glucosamine supplement, but he still wants to be able to train legs, but man, they're just so sore. He wants to know if a different glucosamine supplement would help. Now, I'm not a doctor. There have been studies showing that glucosamine or glucosamine and chondroitin help some people, and other times they don't help other people. With regards to your situation, Brock, number one, you could try a different glucosamine tablet or possibly increase the dosage, but then again, check with a label first. You might have to try some type of anti-inflammatories, again, if you're not allergic to any of them and if your stomach can handle them. Maybe a little bit of Advil uh, either before or after you play baseball. I'm not sure what position you play, but I wouldn't doubt that you're stopping and starting, standing a lot, and you might have to sort of work your leg routine around your baseball schedule. I mean, other than that, I can't really think of anything else you want to, you should do because obviously guys like us, we want to do everything. Uh, so if you're a, a lifter, a weight trainer, um, a baseball player, football player, basketball, you know, guy or girl, we don't want to stop. You know, I love it when a doctor says, well, you're going to have to take it easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh-huh. Uh, the other thing I'm going to suggest is with regards to working out, and this is with any body part. A lot of guys jump into weight that's way, way too heavy too soon. I mean, when I leg press, I do one plate aside. I do it for 10. Then I do one plate aside again for 10. And then I do the exact same thing for 10 reps with two plates, three plates, four plates, five plates, six plates. And then I go to eight plates. And then eight plates is my first real set of leg press. So the point is, is that I got six or seven warm-up sets there. So when you're doing legs, make sure you warm those knees up. And that's not just the knees, it's quads, it's ligaments and tendons, it's your blood, all that stuff. Uh, same thing with bench press. Uh, guys will have a, a 275 bench press for maybe six reps, which is pretty good. But they'll jump under 135, do that for 10, and then go right to two and a quarter, and then to 275. Hey brother, your bench press ain't 500 pounds. If it was 500 pounds and you were banging that out for four or five, I'd say, yeah, go 135, 225, 315. But again, most guys are worried about wearing themselves out. I'm not suggesting you bench press 135 or 185 for 1,000 reps. Same thing with your, your legs. So make sure you warm those up. Also, leg extensions, uh, not a great exercise for the knees. They're not even a great exercise in general. I mean, they're safer than squats and and uh, leg press um, with regards to pain, but I'm just not crazy about them because they can put a lot of tension on the knees if your knees are bad. And I'm always amazed that people are in the gym doing one-legged leg extensions after they've had knee surgery. I'm like, what are you doing? You're doing leg extensions with the bad knee? Why don't you do both legs at the same time? That way the good knee supports the bad knee, and if the bad knee gives out, the good leg or good knee is there to support it. Hence the term cross-training, like one of my prior videos. So again, those are some of the suggestions I have without understanding further what other situations might be going on. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.